It's time to get started on those handles. I know what you're thinking. This is the same stupid opening montage from the last video. You'd be wrong. This is a different stupid opening montage. So I started editing the chest handle video, and in a lot of it, this fan is running. Well, the problem is, it blows right across the work area, ruining all the audio. So that video really isn't good for anything, except a nice montage with some music behind it. Really man, another montage?
for that. Second one did go quicker. This is a little flatter than I would like it. I'd like this bend to be tighter. Um, I think this one looks a little better. You can see the wrap. The wrap around here is smaller. It'll work. Not bad for my first attempt. Pretty flat on the back. That'll go on just fine. Now I just have a lot of cleaning up to do. Yeah, pretty good. I think I'm going to heat this one back up actually and adjust, adjust right here a little bit just to even this handle out a little more. Um, and then these will be done except for uh, cleaning them up, the wire wheel, um, and uh, putting some wax on them and mounting them on the chest. Got the chest handles all assembled. Pretty happy with them for my first time doing chest handles. I think they turned out really nice. I like them. So what I'm going to do is uh, drill a mounting hole here, here, and here. Countersink it and attach it with some uh, pretty heavy duty screws. These are the screws I'll be using. They're a number 12, 2 inch long stainless steel. I heat up the ends to give them some color. So when they get installed, they'll match the back plates a little better. I need to uh, have some wood behind them to screw into. So I'm going to get some blocks like this. I'll put them in here on both sides. One here, one here. I'll glue them in. So when the screws come in from the other side, they'll have something. One screw, the center one will go into this piece of wood. And then the other two will go into this block. Of wood. So I need four blocks of wood, we'll glue these in, glue those in, and then we'll, um, we'll go from there.
All right, do the same thing on the other side. I don't like how these blocks right here are far out of the surface, so I'm just gonna, I should have cut those down before I glued them in. I didn't really think about it, but I'm just gonna take my plane and take some of that off. That was easy. Two more to go. So to mount these handles, I got a punch mark right here. I'll pre-drill that hole, screw this in, get it level how I want it, drill the other two holes, put screws in, and I'll put them down tight. That should make some impressions of these tabs. I'll take it off and chisel out those impressions and then install it. And it'll be the same procedure on both sides. See where those tabs are? That worked out pretty good. Now we'll just chisel that out. one down same thing on the other side so it's all done it's all on the back patio looks really good very happy with it next thing I want to build is a stand for the ice chest to sit on uh, raise it up about 12 to 14 inches give us some storage underneath but we'll still have access to the ice chest from the top so stay tuned for that video coming soon stick around to the end of this video you'll see some shots of the finished product I do hope you enjoyed this video, found it worth your time. If so, I'd love it if you like and subscribe to the channel. Drop a comment below, let me know what you liked, what you didn't like about this video. Those comments will help me improve the content here. Thanks for watching.